Guys, this is a quick introduction to the WMI video. I just want to give a quick shout out to my special fan on the forum. Uh, I think his name starts with a J and ends with a F. Uh, Jeff, a gentleman from New York, um, or a faggot from New York, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank him for being such a fan. He's the one that lied about his WMI kit. And, you know, and chances he modded his car, got WMI kit, thinking he could run a better time than I could or thinking to make the car faster and actually I uh, wasn't able to beat my time and then really make his car faster so I got mine and inspiration from him to make a video to help others that want WMI and the reason I got WMI was not for the quarter mile was more so for the half mile events I'm going to be doing and the autocross events I'm going to be doing uh, track course excuse me I think that's where WMI will shine on the longer runs rather than quarter mile but and nonetheless we'll see how it goes you can see very stealth you can't tell it's on there so um yeah just special shout out to that fag uh, that always supported me and messaged me weird messages uh, i i can't get enough of this guy messaging me weird ass messages so he knows who he is just a special thanks to him thank you for i know you're gonna watch this video and probably leave a negative comment and a dislike but <laughs> it's okay you deserve a shout out man so anyways for everyone else that's not a hater, uh, please uh, go ahead and enjoy this video um, and enjoy this WMI install. So I got quoted 500 bucks for it and I'm giving you here a DIY step by step for free. Again, I got my WMI at Burger Motorsports, BurgerTuning.com. Uh, reach out to Terry, he will he will hook you up. This kid is amazing. Alright, enjoy the video guys. About the Burger Motorsports. Uh, methanol kit. This is good looking right there. Here's all the lines and BBJ before. All the fittings and crap. More fittings. Bolts. We got the special billet cap. The blue one. And it looks like the fuel pump is here. So we're going to go ahead and um, remove the car seats and remove all the shit inside the car to um, get started. I'm going to go ahead and install this bad boy myself. I'm not going to pay anybody to do it. Save me some money and make a video of it to help other people. So I'm going to go ahead and start and I'll post videos. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to go ahead and take some stuff apart. Alright guys, we're going to start. I took everything outside the trunk. Um, I got the big canister. If you get the one gallon tank, you can usually install it in here. And Terry just came out with a special bracket, especially for the one gallon tank that plugs right here. But I don't have the one gallon. I have the two gallon, which the pump hooks up to it. So we're going to line it up here. Um, I'm going to have to take the rear seats out in order to make a clean install you I don't think you have to the instructions don't tell that you have to but I think you do in order to make a clean so I'm gonna remove this seat this back end um, maybe the bolsters as well or I, maybe I don't have to remove this probably just here and here the bolsters to line it up and route it all through this area um, all through the siding here through here and under there and then we're gonna try to fish it out through here because the nozzle is gonna go there so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you really quick how to remove the rear seat it's pretty easy um, it's just clips you see how it just came away there's a clip on the other side and then if you look um, hard to see I don't have much light um, but there's there's a bolt right on the middle a 12 millimeter bolt and a 12 millimeter bolt on the other side and then the bottom part will come out I'm gonna take the bottom part out and show you where the bolts are and then the bolsters alright guys I took the two bolts see the rear seat coming out they go right here you see this right there and then we're able to look. they go right there so this pinch you just got to open up in there now we're going to take this off 
real quick. The crane lift. So we took the back seat out. So that's where we're going to route it through there. Now you see the bolsters just have another 12 millimeter here. And then they just come right out. There's a hook and you just lift them up. You put this down. And they're easier for them to come out. And same thing for the other side. Um, the bolsters have a 12 millimeter here. And we're going to take this out so we can then route the wiring very nicely. We want to route it through here. And all through there. And to the front. Alright guys, so I took the 12 millimeter bolt down there. And we're going to go ahead and pull the bolster up. And as you can see, it just comes right out. And this is how we're going to route the WMI wire. I'm thinking we can route it through here, but I'm going to lift this up, this part, and run it through under there so you can't see it. Um, so I'm going to mount the box right here, and then the wires are going to run through back in here, and then come out through there, and then just follow this harness already that the OEM has. Follow this harness through, through here, and then keep opening the liner here, and all through there to get it to the front. Okay, now you just need a 10 millimeter, and there's a one, two, and three bolts to push this lining out. Because the goal is going to, we're going to route it through here, but I want to push this out so it's easier to move. We're going to run it through there, and the lining's going to come out through here, right, where the bolster came out, and we're going to follow that OEM thread all to the front so we're going to start by removing those bolts i'm not going to show you the removal of the bolts i'm just going to remove them and then i'll come back um this i took the bolts out but you can see this piece kind of holds this into it, it prevents it from sliding and i want to slide it so it opens up here so then i can just route the wires real easy and not have to use a hanger you know and this is held by these two circle clips they just come out you can use a flathead and then this thing just will pop out I'm gonna remove those now to remove the trim most people might not have this I have a trim removal kit and you see how this is shaped it's perfect for these uh, for those circle it just goes right under and boop it just pops them you can use a flathead just a little hard you just got to be careful and then to remove the side trim I have this trim kit with these is real easy and it prevents you from damaging your trim now you can use a flathead different sizes you know if you don't have this I bought this on eBay for like 15 bucks uh, very cheap and it's very useful so kind of put it to good use now uh, if you don't have this you can use just a flathead um, you don't need these special tools for it but it just makes the jobs a lot easier and cleaner so let's go to the next step so I'm back there's just one bolt right here you gotta pop that thing out and there's a 10 millimeter bolt there and then this whole thing just shifts out after you remove the bolts remove this the two clips here it's just clips the three 10 millimeters one two three and the 10 millimeter here and then you just gently pull it and you see how it comes out I'm not gonna fully take it out I'm just gonna run tape the red wire and the uh, uh, metal holes together to just fish it through here and catch it right here now I can stick my hand I have all the room to route it very nicely against the wall so make sure it's not pinched and then it's gonna follow all of this very nicely it's gonna follow this harness so it's not gonna pinch it and right through there it's gonna be very clean very nice so let's go here I, I couldn't find a wire hanger and I'm gonna need one so I might have to go to Walmart to get it but just an idea guys oh, guys I went through there and I used my hand through here to fish it very nicely so as you can see it's all going through here it's gonna stick through here now I'm gonna fish it through here 
this has a circle clip right there right there move that clip and then this piece becomes loose so I can fish it very nicely through here then I'm gonna start taking this you see how I just lift stuff start popping it out piece by piece and route it all the way to the front. 